In Hinduism, the talaka, Sanskrit, talaka is a mark worn usually on the forehead, sometimes other parts of the body such as neck, hand or chest. Talaka may be worn on a daily basis or for rites of passage or special religious occasions only, depending on regional customs. The term also refers to the Hindu ritual of marking someone's forehead with a fragrant paste, such as of sandalwood or vermilion, as a welcome and expression of honor when they arrive. Description The talaka is a mark created by the application of powder or paste on the forehead. Talakas are vertical markings worn by Vaishnavites. The Vaishnava talaka consists of a long vertical marking starting from just below the hairline to almost the end of one's nose tip, and they are also known as Urdhva Pundra. It is intercepted in the middle by an elongated U. There may be two marks on the temples as well. This talaka is traditionally made with sandalwood paste. The other major talaka variant is often worn by the followers of Shiva, known by the names of Rudra Talaka and Tripundra. It consists of three horizontal bands across the forehead with a single vertical band or circle in the middle. This is traditionally done with sacred ash from fire sacrifices. This variant is the more ancient of the two and shares many common aspects with similar markings worn across the world. Shaktas, worshippers of the various forms of the goddess Devi, wear a large red dot of kumkum vermilion or red turmeric on the forehead. Topic. Significance Chapter 2 of the Kalagni Rudra Upanishad, a Shaiva traditional text, explains the three lines of a talaka as a reminder of various triads, three sacred fires, three syllables in Om, three gunas, three worlds, three types of Atman self, three powers in oneself, first three Vedas, three times of extraction of the Vedic drink Soma. The first line is equated to Garhapatya the sacred fire in a household kitchen, the A syllable of Om, the Rajas Guna, the earth, the external self, Kriya the power of action, the Rigveda, the morning extraction of Soma, and Maheshvara. The second streak of ash is a reminder of Dakshinagni the holy fire lighted in the south for ancestors, the sound U of Om, Sattva Guna, the atmosphere, the inner self, Iccha, the power of will, the Yajurveda, midday Soma extraction, and Sadashiva. The third streak is the Ahavaniya the fire used for Homa, the M syllable in Om, the Tamas Guna, Svarga, Heaven, the Paramatman, the Highest Self the ultimate reality of Brahman, Jnana, the power of knowledge, the Samaveda, Soma extraction at dusk, and Shiva, these lines, states Antonio Rigopoulos, represent Shiva's threefold power of will Ishashakti, knowledge Jnanasakti, and action Kriyasakti. The Tripundra described in this and other Shaiva texts also symbolizes Shiva's trident Trisula and the divine triad of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. The Vasudeva Upanishad, a Vaishnava tradition text, similarly explains the significance of three vertical lines in Urdhva Pundra Talaka to be a reminder of Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, the Vedic scriptures, Rigveda, Yajurveda, and Samaveda, three worlds Bhu, Bhuva, Svar, the three syllables of Om, A, U, M, three states of consciousness. Awake, dream sleep, deep sleep, three realities, Maya, Brahman and Atman, the three bodies, Saint Hula, Sukshma, and Karana. Traditions Different Hindu traditions use different materials and shapes to make the talaka. Saivites typically mark their tilak using vibhuti in three horizontal lines across the forehead. Along with the three horizontal lines, a bindu of sandalwood paste or a dot of red kumkum in the center completes the tilaka tripundra. Vaishnavas apply a tilak with vermilion, clay, sandalwood paste chandan, or latter two mixed. They apply the material in two vertical lines, which may be connected at the bottom, forming a simple U-shape, often with an additional vertical red marking in the shape of a tulsi leaf inside the U-shape. Their tilaka is called the urdva pundra. See also Shravaishnava Urdva Pundra, the Shravaishnava Talaka. Gunapatya use red sandal paste Shaktas use kumkuma, or powdered red turmeric. They draw one vertical line or dot not to be confused with bindi used by Indian women from different religions. Honorary Talakas Raja Talaka and Vira Talaka are usually applied as a single vertical red line. Raja Talaka will be used while enthroning kings or inviting prominent personalities. 
Vera Talaka is used to anoint victors or leaders after a war or a game. Swaminarayana Talaka is U-shaped in the middle of forehead along with the red dot in the middle of U known as Chanlo. Topic: Cultural tradition. Sikhs apply the talaka as well. The Darshan Darbar devotees apply red talaka to the forehead. This talaka is a long red mark veridically applied. Saint Baba Buddha Ji applied talaka to the first five Sikh gurus. Jains use talaka to mark the forehead of Jaina images with sandalwood paste during puja ceremonies. Christians in India use talaka, both to mark special occasions and during their worship rites. Hindus use the talaka ceremony, as a mark of honor and welcome to guests, something special or someone special. It may also be used, for same reason, to mark idols at the start of a puja worship, to mark a rock or tree before it is cut or removed from its original place for artisan work, or a new piece of property. Types The choice of style is not mandated in Hindu texts, and it is left to the individual and the regional culture, leading to many versions. The known styles include Vijayshri, white talaka or Dwapundra with a white line in the middle, founded by Swami Balanand of Jaipur, Bendi talaka, white tilak or Dwapundra with a white round mark in the middle, founded by Swami Ramprasad Acharya of Badasthan Ayodhya, and Chaturbhuji talaka, white tilak or Dwapundra with the upper portion turned 90 degrees in the opposite direction, no Shri in the middle, founded by Narayandashi of Bihar, ascetics of Swargdwar of Ayodhya follow it. Sharma has named additional styles as, Vallabh Sampraday Tilak, Shri Talaka of Riwasa Gadi, Ramacharandas Talaka, Srijiwarama Ka Talaka, Shri Janakraya Kishori Shuran Rasik Ali Ji Ka Talaka, Shri Rupkalaji Ka Talaka, Rupsaris Ji Ka Talaka, Ramasaki Ji Ka Talaka, Kamanendu Mani Ka Talaka, Karunasindu Ji Ka Talaka, Swaminarayana Talaka, Nimbarka Ka Talaka and Madhwa Ka Talaka. Relationship to Bindi The terms talaka and bindi overlap somewhat, but are not synonymous. Among the differences, a talaka is always applied with paste or powder, whereas a bindi may be paste or jewel. A talaka is usually applied for religious or spiritual reasons, or to honor a personage, event, or victory. A bindi can signify marriage, or be simply for decorative purposes. A bindi is worn only between the eyes, whereas a talaka can also cover the face or other parts of the body. Talaka can be applied to twelve parts of the body, head, forehead, neck, both upper arms, both forearms, chest, both sides of the torso, stomach and shoulder. Terminology <inaudible> 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 It is also called Takli or Shithar Har in Bengali, Tika, or Tilakam or Tilak in Hindi, Sanskrit, Talaka Talaka, Hindustani pronunciation, T, Elak in Nepal, Bihar, and other regions. The Tilakam is called a Tika, Tika, Tika Ka, and is a mixture of a beer, a red powder, yogurt, and grains of rice. The most common Tika is red powder applied with the thumb, in a single upward stroke. Gallery Topic <laughs> See also Ash Wednesday, a forehead marking tradition in Christianity, Bindi, a cosmetic item of decoration for women in South Asia, Fascinator, a cosmetic item worn near the forehead, an alternative to a hat, Third eye. Tilak Vaishnava Urdva Pundra Tilak Vibhuti <inaudible>